جنرل سعد خٹک صاحب عبد اللہ خان مینجنگ ڈائریکٹر پکس ممبرس آف دا ڈپلومیٹک کور لیڈیز اینڈ جینٹل مین گڈ آفٹر نون آئی ایم ٹرولی آنرڈ ٹو بی ہیئر ٹوڈے ایز دا چیف گیسٹ ایٹ دا لانچنگ سیرمنی آف دا اینول سیکورٹی اسسمنٹ رپورٹ by the Pakistan Institute for Conflict and Security Studies. I extend my sincere gratitude to General Mohammad Saad Khatak, the chairman of PICS, uh, for uh, the invitation. And I'm truly delighted to be in the company of esteemed uh, individuals like Ambassador Nadeem Riaz, president of the Institute of regional studies, uh, Mr. Abdullah Khan, uh, and Mr. Guldad, Director of Research at the PICS. I also extend my warm greetings to the Diplomatic Corps who is here, distinguished guests, and everybody who is present here. First, let me <clears throat> applaud the dedicated team of researchers at PICS, your tireless efforts working day and night have produced a comprehensive and an insightful security report. Your commitment to understanding and addressing complex security challenges is commendable, and your work forms the backbone of informed policy decisions. In today's dynamic world, data-driven reports are the cornerstone of informed decision-making. PICS has set an exemplary standard in this regard. Such reports not only provide a comprehensive understanding of our security landscape, but also serve as a roadmap for policymakers. The invaluable insights derived from data are crucial for developing effective strategies to safeguard our country. Pakistan Institute for Conflict and Security Studies is now, is not a new name in media. And it's quite encouraging to note today that it's equally popular among the diplomatic corps. As explained by Chairman uh, Picks, <clears throat> the organization has made valuable contributions for the society by conducting various research studies. Picks countrywide campaign Pakistan, Pakistaniyat to engage the young people has touched many hearts. <coughs> this is an excellent approach to safeguard our youth from falling prey to extremist ideologies. It's heartening to note that Pakistan Institute for Conflict and Security Studies applies data-driven approach and provides objective analyses of security and conflict, and security and conflict-related developments in Pakistan and the immediate neighborhood. I'm happy to note that PICS has developed a database of anti-state violence in Pakistan since 2001 and now has expanded it to the whole of South Asia, including Afghanistan. This can be beneficial for researchers to conduct research on various issues of militancy besides allowing PICS researchers to conduct research and prepare weekly, monthly, and annual reports like the one being formally launched today. PICS management and researchers deserve appreciation for their tireless efforts. The need for more, <clears throat> the need for a more robust Engagement between governments and think tanks cannot be overstated. Events like today's underscore the importance of fostering collaborative environments. 
It's through such partnerships that we can bridge the gap between theory and practice, implementable solutions included. I encourage ongoing and intensified collaboration between our government institutions like PICS. PICS Annual Security Assessment Report 2023, released today, is an outcome of Taro research. It presents data in a very easy to understand format. By reading this report, one can have a full grasp of issues confronted by the country last year and provides pertinent projections for the future. I will advise all relevant institutions to read this report. I will also recommend my cabinet colleagues to subscribe PICS periodicals for understanding conflict dynamics for their better decision making. As explained earlier, there's a need to develop policies and strate strategies to curb this uh, trend of uh, terrorism and violent extremism. On behalf of the federal government, let me assure you that we are constantly working to address the issue of terrorism and violent extremism through various hard and soft measures. Pakistan has repeatedly asked the interim Afghan government to address Pakistan's counter-terrorism concerns, especially the space and the safe heavens available to militant groups like TTP to operate in and from Afghanistan. Pakistan expects positive response from the interim Afghan government. Pakistan has also raised this issue of access to modern weapons in Afghanistan to these militant groups besides involvement of Afghan nationals in anti-state violence in Pakistan. Without addressing the issue of terrorism, both our countries cannot embark on the journey of economic growth and development. As the Federal Minister for Information and Broadcasting, I must address a concerning finding from this report launched today, the reported 70% rise in terror incidents in Pakistan last year. Our government is resolute in its commitment to combat terrorism and violent extremism. We will use the insights from this report to refine our strategies and ensure the safety and security of our countrymen. I want to emphasize also the pivotal role uh, media organizations play in shaping pu public opinion and awareness, building strong liaison between media and think tanks like PICS, it's crucial. Such partnerships will provide the media with a deeper understanding of the intricacies of the security landscape, enabling them to disseminate accurate and well-informed news. As highlighted uh, by General Saad Khatak, PICS self-sustaining financial model to generate funds for its operations is a role model for other institutions and think tanks. This provides the institute enough space to operate independently and without any influence. I believe that think tanks should be independent from any influence to conduct unbiased research and analyses for greater good of the society. I'm confident that think tanks like PICS will continue to provide research-based advice for the policymakers to deal with various conflict and security-related issues that plague our country and the society. In conclusion, let's collectively appreciate the invaluable work of PICS 
recognize the critical role of data-driven reports and reinforce our commitment to a more interconnected relationship between governments, think tanks, and media. Together, we can work together towards a safer and more secure future for Pakistan. Let me address a couple of questions that were raised here. Um, <clears throat> one was a question about Maulana Fazal Rahman's trip to Afghanistan. Uh, that was actually addressed by uh, the spokesperson of the Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs uh, this afternoon. Uh, they have clearly said, and uh, we have said it a uh, couple of times, even before Maulana's trip uh, started, that it's an unofficial visit of a prominent Pakistani politician who is from that region and has connections there. Before he embarked on this trip, he did uh, consult uh, different institutions of our state, got the necessary briefing, um, but it was not an official trip. Any Pakistani politician or influential person uh, who feels for our country and the problems that we are going through, if he or she wants to play any constructive role, uh, we can appreciate it. But uh, Maulana's visit was not an official visit, and he was uh, not authorized to make any deal with anybody. It was a goodwill visit of Maulana, and uh, we wish him success. Uh, if his visit can uh, bring um, any good news to both countries, we can only be uh, happy about it. Um, there was a question about uh, negotiations with terrorists. Uh, the state of Pakistan and different uh, representatives of uh, different institutions of the state have been unequivocal crystal clear. There shall be no negotiations and talks with terrorists till they lay their arms and recognize the Constitution of Pakistan as the basic document uh, where we can negotiate with anybody. So uh, no negotiations with uh, terrorists uh, till they lay their arms and accept and recognize the constitution of Pakistan. Thank you very much.